Wow, what a crazy week. Okay, so we've got a new variant. And the looting that has happened in San Francisco that has now been called Snatch and Grab has not only been Snatch and Grab, it's been Snatch, Grab, and now let's have a murder. So I think a little bit of this is maybe to the point that we've got to really step back and take a look at it. And what I've got for you today is something I kind of have gone back on that's back, you know, it's back, not current, but it's it's a little bit of George Carlin. And, you know, George Carlin to me was a great comedian. And uh, I, I'll tell you, I was in the video, or I, I had uh, uh, comedy clubs, had two. One was called Jokers and one was called Gutbusters. Of those two clubs, I met uh, two great people that uh, helped me out and, and brought me along my way with my comedy clubs. Matter of fact, the first person that I ever had in my comedy club was Rodney Carrington. And I thought that that was really, uh, really cool that, hey, here's a guy that's up and coming and I've got him in my comedy club and we can see where Rodney Carrington is today. Next person I remember real well that uh, I thought was just funny as heck was Ron White. And look where Ron White is today. And I remember him when he first came into my comedy club. And he was basically a nobody. And uh, I was thrilled to have him. Never got to meet George Carlin. Never got to go to any of his shows, any of that. But I, you know, did stay up with a lot of things that George Carlin did have to say. And so I went back and I said, I wonder how George Carlin would take this today. So what I did is I went back and found some videos, took and made some of them, and brought some of the stuff out that George Carlin had to say. And, you know, here's the thing about George Carlin that I think that we have to really look at is that George Carlin was a comedian but where his comedy came from was just the fact that he was an everyday person bringing about everyday things and people found humor in that because it was funny when you go and tell people about and you look at what you are going on in your life and you look at the ways that you handle it and what you do with your life and look back and say boy i could have done that different or wow that was sure funny you know, that's kind of the way George Carlin was. He just brought out what was happening and told you about it, and you found the humor in it. And so let's watch a little bit of George Carlin and some cuts that I made and uh, go through and You tell me what you think. Leave it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, you know, I'm new at this. I'm not going to tell you I'm not, but I am enjoying doing it, and uh, I'm going to try to keep on doing it and watching some of the things that happen. And I'm going to try to bring you the brighter side of it, not the negative side. So, anyway, watch what I've got to show you here and see what you think. Besides, what do you think you have an immune system for? It's for killing germs. But it needs practice. It needs germs to practice on. So, so listen. So listen, if you kill all the germs around you and live a completely sterile life, then when germs do come along, you're not going to be prepared. And never mind ordinary germs, what are you going to do when some super virus comes along that turns your vital organs into liquid shit? I'll tell you what you're going to do, you're going to get sick, you're going to die, and you're going to deserve it because you're fucking weak and you got a fucking weak immune system. Now, uh, God damn it. Wow, that pretty much sums that up of, of the immune system, uh, George Carlin. Uh, so now that we're going to go to uh, Bill Maher and George Carlin talking together, and uh, we're going to talk about looting. I want you to remember that all of these clips that I just brought were from um, longer versions that I'll leave down in the comments, but they weren't in today, right now time. They were, I think one was filmed in 2015. Maybe one was filmed maybe in, uh, I think, 2011. So 2015, 2011. Not current time right now. But yet the subject matters are what we're still dealing with today. Just watch. And let me ask you this about the looting. Would you agree that there was two kinds of looting? That there was the kind where people were desperate because they were starving and maybe were taking food out of a store. And then there were some people who were taking stereo equipment. Yeah. Would you agree that there was two kinds of yeah, looting? Yeah, people were walking away with television sets. Hey, would you Sony agree that there was that. those two kinds of looting? Yes. Okay. Well, then is it not wrong for the president to issue an ultimatum that there was zero 
tolerance, and thereby encourage his right-wing flax in the liberal media to go ahead and say, this gives us license to suggest that we shoot people on sight, as if in the middle of this crisis, where so many people are dying already, what we need to do is shoot Tyrone, because he's getting out of Circuit City with some soggy tweeters. <laughs> and I... <laughs> and, uh, and I think Tyrone always had soggy tweeters, quite frankly. I, I have an addendum to that. The real looting in this country takes place in the transfer of the wealth from the poor to the rich. I'm sorry that you don't like class and the truth, my friend, but you're just stuck with it. I'm a, class I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, and the poor have been systematically looted in this country. The rich have been made richer under this criminal, fascist president and his government. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You know, George, George you, I think you know, you know what fascism is. Fascism, you know what fascism when it comes is? To America, it you know what Nazis wear, it are? Not wear, no, wait, yeah. sir, wait, you sir. When Nazis fascism are? comes you know to America, it will are? not be in brown and black shirts. It will not be oh. with jackboots. It will be Nike sneakers and smiley shirts. Smiley, smiley. The, the, the fascism... <laughs> Germany lost the Second World War. Fascism won it. Believe and actually, me, my friend. fascism is when corporations become the government. Yes. And that's sort of what we have. And poverty has gone up.